Welcome back. We'd like to tell you that we have an uplifting story of redemption, perfect for this Easter holiday of rebirth and revival. We don't. What we have instead is a story from New Orleans, Louisiana in January of 1998. Darkened basketball court in the middle of nowhere. Men in jerseys bouncing up and down saying, uh, na 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 na. A platinum tank in the middle of the court. Why is it there? That's not important. What is there? The most dominating talent of his time. Above the rim skills, superb athleticism, and the hops to indeed make you say any noise Master P wanted you to make. It was the No Limit Gorilla, destined to be the greatest mascot of all time, greater than the Easter Bunny himself. Tragedy ensued. A knee injury first shortened his professional basketball career. Then, he became a mascot for hire. He went to Arizona, took a job with the Phoenix Suns. Fired for drinking. Then he went to elsewhere in Arizona, took a job with the Fiesta Bowl. Fired for bribery. Then he traveled back east, came our way, came to Atlanta. He's really made the most of his time here by not making most of his time at all. Alcohol, drugs. Loitering. Lots of loitering. This is like a really good loiterer. Lots of fucking loitering. <laughs> when last spotted, the No Limit Gorilla was working as a stripper in East Atlanta. Which, frankly, pretty cool. Makes me say, uh. Na 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 na. <laughs> <laughs>